Hey guys, it's Blue Lore here, and welcome back to another episode of the Evotech SMP. We are chilling in front of these two buildings here that are going to be uh, very important in this episode, and you'll soon find out why. If you haven't already figured it out with all the cool cinematics and stuff, dude. We are upgrading Evotech, okay? This is about to be some sick content, all right? Anyway, just as uh, an explanation, we have uh, these two buildings which were built by Hawk Geek is going to explain in a bit here why they're both being built and what they're for. And so uh, let's get right into it. Hold on, before we continue, I just want it to be known that we're, we have literally, we're literally in the important voice channel in Evotech because it's apparently important. this is important. So, all right, go ahead. Yes. Uh, so as you may know, uh, I, I run a corporation called Hawk Labs. Right, right. yes. Yes. So, uh, and Hawk Labs is in charge of a lot of uh, very different things, right? Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, we ha we have a lot of subsidiary companies. Um, you you know you've seen Hawk Labs construction at work before. Right? Uh -huh. Yeah, remember that. Um, and obviously Hawk Labs Resort is something we've been working on, stuff like that. Um, and you've also seen Hawk Labs Legal Consultation, right? I think. Um, yes. Yeah, so, well, you came to a warrant to my office once. So. Oh. In order to have legal consultation. Uh, which has become a recent uh, need on the server. Um, <laughs> has it now? Really, I can't really tell you any specific details because of attorney-client privilege. Right. Um, but there's some stuff going down. So because of that, uh, we have need to establish a legal system. And, you know, as one of the people with the leader role on Evotech, uh, you okay. have the capability to notarize people and make legal decisions official. And as Detective Boy Bloor, you would recognize the necessity of a legal system. So I have a couple gifts for you. Follow me. Oh no. Okay. Unfortunately, I know we don't have a police station on the server. Okay. Yeah, but also here's the other thing. I've left that life behind. Okay. That's that's fine. But you still have the the ability to. to oh no. <laughs> legal buildings. Oh um, no. Don't worry. It's not a police station. I promise. I know, but I I think I already know what it is. So if you just come on over here. Um. So welcome to the Evatech courthouse. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What is this? Um. So you 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 get to come up here. This is the the judge podium. Uh, as you can see, there are three spots. Uh, this one is Shroomy's seat. Uh, you can have either the left or right. I don't know which one I want. <laughs> okay, well, you don't have to make Decided it later. Now. If I could just give you this. Uh-huh. Uh, this is a, a document that I'm going to need you to just, you know, you can read through it if you want. Otherwise, just kind of briefly scan it. It's okay. a notarization document to make this courthouse official. Right. Uh, which only, you know, the leaders can do. So as long as you sign off on it, then it's official. Uh, you'll see on the second page, there is a place for you to sign. You just delete the little dash marks, leave one on either side of your name. And then just sign the book as a whole, and that would be fantastic. So this is it, right? There's no back room. There's this no. Is it. You're, you're welcome to look around. There is a chest under here with building materials, but that's it. Right. Uh. Wait. So there's no like area for the jury to. I guess there's judges, so there's not really a jury. There. Yeah. This is judge trials. As for how how a court would be conducted, that would be constitutional means, which, as you'll see on page three of that document. I am barred from creating without permission of the leader. Uh, that document just creates. This Wait, so courthouse. so Fisk is on here as well. Uh, well, I figured Fisk was a pretty like impartial because I'm legal counsel, so I'm not entirely impartial as a notary. So I figured we needed a, an impartial notary. So. Oh my God. Okay. So uh, this is on page two. You put your name, and then you just sign the book, and that would make the courthouse official. I feel like I should add, or like request the uh direction of of true me for this i mean you could but you have to remember there's there's some legal business going down on the server and not everybody might be impartial to the construction of a courthouse uh you're you're a pretty impartial third party uh compared to the other two available leaders how you're literally putting me as a judge yes yeah exactly and so the theory would be if a constitution was ever established, 
that they would be forced to sequester themselves if they came up as trial defendants. Uh huh. So you would you would be the the primary judge. All the document does is make the courthouse legal. It, it gives it gives it power basically. Is that what you're looking for? Uh, well, I'm gonna need you to sign the book to make it official. Uh, here I can fix the formatting. That's fine. Okay. I'll just fix this up. You can make sure I didn't add anything to the book, but I promise I didn't. What is this not the only copy? Uh, that is the only copy. So once you sign it, I will make a duplicate of it using a book and quill. Uh, okay, so do I actually have to sign it? Yes, because it's your your signature makes it official. All right. Because then I can't duplicate your signature. What? Yeah. Wait, what am I typing again? <laughs> Notarization? <laughs> Whatever you want. I don't... <laughs> I don't... I don't understand any of this. <laughs> Do you know what a notary is? No. It's a person that can sign or stamp a document to make it official. Okay, so, so I'm like, the notary. You are, you are notarizing this courthouse, which means you're making the courthouse official. Great. It's so... kind of like the president signing a bill into law. Cool. You're signing the courthouse into law. All right, would you like a copy of this for your own collection? You know, sure. So here's a copy. Wait, you now, made a copy uh, already? Yeah. I have a lot of book and quills on me for a couple of reasons. Oh. Um, <laughs> uh, now, because you, you've signed that into uh, existence, I've, I've decided to kind of update you on the legal situation here. So I've got a copy of a book here. Um, and I'll, I'll just take you on a walk, uh, but you can just look at that. Uh, you can see it was written by Shroomy, which is why you're the impartial uh, oh. leader. Consultation. Oh. So uh, Shroomy uh, made some accusations uh, against uh, a client of mine. So it's a long book enough. Uh... I promise. All right. So he made some, some legal accusations. Right. Uh, yeah. Uh, against a client of mine, uh, Danky Dunes. And so I went ahead and uh, I've been hired as a consultant for uh, Danky Dunes um, as representative stickman ninja. And uh, I've drafted up this here. Uh, it's a 26-page uh, response document. Oh. Um, I unfortunately can't allow you to read it right now because of attorney-client privilege. Right, uh, yeah. But I just need to notify you that you may be called into to court soon to preside over this. Uh, there's there's several bits of uh, restitution <laughs> being requested. Uh, it, it totals to a grand total of somewhere around 40 diamonds. Uh, oh. So. Yeah, no, uh, I, I'm definitely willing to, to preside over the, the, the case. Excellent, uh, excellent. So, uh, and then one one final bit of uh, important information here. Mm -hmm. uh, come inside. You know, I don't don't want you having to stand out in the cold. First of all, do you like the courthouse? Um, yeah, it's pretty nifty. Thank you. I spent a good like hour designing it. <clears throat> Just a good hour? Yeah. Wow, this wouldn't take me longer. Okay. Well, I mean, it took like an hour to design, and then like a a good like hour to actually build it on this server. Right. I had to go chop down a forest. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the other important bit of information here. So, uh, as you are leaving that, that cop life behind you, mm -hmm. you've moved on. Uh, who do we turn to to keep our streets safe? That is a good question. Well, I have a specific officer in mind. I'll, I'll get to work on that. But um... Excellent. Thank you. Well, thank you for yeah. your services, and thank you for signing in the official courthouse. Uh, but that's, that's really all I needed from you all right yeah <clears throat> thanks for the minutes <laughs> i think we need some sort of bridge because i hate risking fall damage just to get down there's, here. there's gonna be a path made all right it sounds good dude it's all gonna it's all i just gonna took three hearts from falling <laughs> there's also two entrances to the stock exchange one on the far side one on the close side which stick took the harder entrance and then complained about it <laughs> I'm gonna complain if I want to complain. That sounds like a stick thing. Because oh, like right as I came into the the Discord, you were like, "Why is the door on this side?" <laughs> yeah, why is the door on that side? All right, here we go. <laughs> Why do you even have doors on that side then? Welcome because... to the head exchange. Evotech stocks are based upon a set of variables plugged into a personally designed algorithm. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
uh name of the individual the value of the stock days since last death <laughs> uh iron no change wait blocks can be read as follows iron no change redstone value decline gold value incline do this. uh diamond value above 10 not in decline okay wait so uh Oh, okay, I was never mind. I was literally about to ask, and then in the next page said, "Okay, stocks are calculated values applied to the heads of the players. In addition to the rarity of the head, a stock's value is affected by the death count of the player." Okay, for every day a player does not die, twenty-four real life hours, their stock gains additional value. A stock will crash if the player dies. Okay, stock values are impacted by the values around them. A suddenly crashing stock might cause another stock to rise and sell player heads into the exchange which removes them from circulation and increases, wait, removes them from circulation. Okay. Yeah, so if they're owned by the exchange, the stock value increases. You can also purchase the heads that the exchange owns, which will slightly decrease the value of the stock. But if you hold mm -hmm. on to them, they'll gain in value over time. Right. And then you can sell them back. Short stock bets are also available. You can place a short stock bet on a player paying an upfront charge that returns a profit if the player doesn't die within a certain amount of time. More to come, okay. Yes. How much time, by the way? Uh, or is it like a... You, can, you have to play some minimum of one week. Uh, okay. But you can place Wait. any distance past so, that. So, first of all, why did mine go down? Because Stick donated some heads, and the way that the stock algorithm works is it adjusts adjacent prices. Oh. Um, so when he donated, he donated three heads earlier, and so some people's price went up, such as his own. Right. Uh, but some people's went down in order to make it because there's a limited value so, to the system. So point four is like point four of a diamond. Mm -hmm. Uh And ever it says two days for everyone. That's just because the stock exchange was installed two days. It was ago? started yesterday, so it started at value day one. Donisi has a, a value of one because he killed himself yesterday to cash in on his head. So what's point four of a diamond? How do you calculate that? Uh, Thirty-two iron ingots is equivalent to one diamond. So, so you would take four, 32 four tenths, times 4.4. Oh, gold is going up. T uh, diamond is like going up by 10. No, diamond is it. It is, it is a currently value valued 10 at 10. Yeah. Or oh. above oh. and is not in a decline. It's like being in the Fortune 500. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. I think this is cool because I just got into like actual stocks. And so now I'm like, <laughs> you know, so now I'm, in, I'm, I'm getting into gaming stocks as well, apparently. Yeah, yeah. Are you like open for business or no? Yeah. Uh, I so, might get in on this. Like. Yeah, you're you're welcome to. So short stock bets are always available. Can you place short um, stock bets on yourself? Yeah. If someone wants to like decrease someone's value, they can literally just kill someone else. I'm pretty sure killing is frowned upon, but yeah. since we don't have a constitution and no one will grant me constitutional powers, uh, let's, let's change that. <laughs> Um, this sounds like a plot here. Yeah, um. <laughs> it kind of does, actually. Uh, it's a bit monka. So what that would mean is uh, you'd have a stock marker on blue wings. If you're effectively buying a short stock. It's like how stocks, there aren't an unlimited amount of stocks for a company. Shorting is purchasing with an assumption of loss. So you pay, uh, or you, you say, I promise to buy $1,000 worth of this stock in two weeks. Or 1,000 shares of that stock, whichever way you do it. Uh, regardless of what happens to the stock. All right, so I, I I guess I kind of understand how this works. All right, I think what I want to do is buy a pump head. Okay, it's the only one we have in stock. Yes, and uh, <laughs> uh, so I need to give you three iron for that. Do you take ore, or should I go back and grab ingots? Uh, that'll be that'll be ingots, please. Okay, all right, I will go grab that for you then. All right, dude. You're the only person who's gonna be able to buy a stock for iron. So. Okay. Why is that? Congratulations. Because uh, it's been. Yeah. Uh, because the sign right here. So, buying a stock does that put it back in circulation? Value below point two. This, oh. Like the buying the head, which yeah, yeah. buying the stock puts it in circulation. You could have told which... me I had gold too. No, you're good. You're good. You go. Because right, I already so how, how many iron am I giving you? One. Pump's head is very cheap. Okay. There you go. Sweet Congratulations. Dude. All right. Oh, all right. Uh, yeah, There's don't go out door. there. Yeah, <laughs> don't, don't go out there. Just don't go out that way. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, hi. I see you oh. over there. Hello. How are you, friendo? I am. I am good. I noticed that you have a sword, and I am on a cliff. 
Oh, oh, oh no, yeah, let me... <laughs> yeah, we're, we're talking serious business, if you could uh, remove your armor, too. Uh, oh, oh, okay, sorry, yeah, we're, this is, uh, this is a serious... Okay, you still... Okay, cool. Uh, oh. <gasps> Pumpkins brought me dirt! <laughs> oh, I have dirt, yeah. too, if you want dirt. Oh, I'd go. love some dirt. Oh, yep. thank you so much. This will keep me going. Uh, so, on. basically, I've brought you here today, because I was just recently appointed uh, Justice of the Court, right? Ah! Uh, now, I... <laughs> okay. Well, whatever floats right. the boat. <laughs> yeah. I think you are appointed justice too, though, right? I what? Oh, I mean, I'm, I was I was the judge on Edgecraft back in the day. I've got some experience in Armadillo. I haven't heard okay. anything about this though. Because, like, I guess, I guess, as since we're like leaders, we're automatically the judges. Oh. But like oh, in cases, in cases where we're Works. involved, we can't we, preside over it. We gotta judge each other. If, if, yeah, Before basically. Order. Like sometimes that'll it'll yeah. come to that. Uh mm -hmm. and there's this whole case between Hawk, Stick and and Trumi and I guess you as well, like you're kind of a witness or something. I don't know what's going on, but anyway, we need to appoint some officers as well to enforce mm. the constitution that is not even created yet. So <laughs> uh, we should probably work on that first. <laughs> yeah. I mean, well, okay, then let's uh, let's figure that out then. Like, how do we draft? Here's the constitution. The constitution. Everyone gives me their dirt, and okay. uh, that's it. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I mean, pretty much cause... just common sense is 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 all we need. Right. But yeah, I mean, there's we'll, there's we'll already an implied like no killing, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, Which I I got shot in the back of the head, so I'm yeah. That right. hurt. Yeah, it's already I'm been broken multiple times. Yeah, <laughs> but now we need someone to be able to put someone in a jail and say, hey. Stop that. Stop it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think is a good candidate for that position? Well, Kat pops to mind. She was a uh, police officer on Edgecraft, so again, Kat's... she's got experience with being an enforcer of the law. Right. Also an off a previous officer on Evotech. Yeah, yeah, in of course. In previous seasons. Yeah, I wasn't so... really involved with that. I didn't know that, but yeah, that too. <laughs> so, so that's yeah, here she worked with a certain detective. I, I don't know who that was. Ah, uh, yeah. No, I've left behind my detective uh, coat, <laughs> and I've put on ah, the, the judge robes. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and, and the mask. Nobody cared yes. who you were before you put on the mask. Well, yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> do you think that'll be enough? Just cat? I mean, I, we probably need more than just one enforcer. So yeah, yeah cat, cat could be one. Uh, I don't really know of anyone in particular who's like super, super like heavy on keeping the law in order. Mm -hmm. um, I feel Everyone like just Blue, seems to do their own thing. I feel like Blue might not be a good option considering yeah. murder, but not so good who to murder. Judging by the snowman I've seen him slaughter over and over again on streams. Oh yeah, um, that's so uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I mean. We can kind of put it to a vote, maybe? Or have the, the justices, the Council of Justices, come mm -hmm. together and talk about some peeps? Yeah. Well, what if it's all a ploy? What if he's just assigning us to be the justices so that once we're all in the building, he'll blow it up? Yeah, Fox possibly. Evil scheme. Oh. <gasps> dirt! Oh, he's giving you dirt. Okay. All right, so maybe maybe our next move is to ask Kat if she wants to be an officer. or if Yeah, of course. She... Wouldn't want to force her on them. Right, yeah. It were she just doesn't Just like be... we've been forced to be justices. <laughs> you know, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh we really be forced to, to to upholding the law out here, you know, like Yeah, because we hate the law. Why would we have to do that? <sighs> okay, just all right. Yeah. Take so much um, time out of my dirt collecting day. <laughs> right. Uh I I'm also in the in the works of getting a judge robe made for myself. Um so we'll see how that goes. We'll see if that looks any good. I think that's that's all I wanted to chat with you about. But uh, cool. I, I think I'll. It's kind of hard to fit judge robes on me, considering how we're like cyborg stuff. It gets hot right. a lot. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It can you know mess Metal up the snags machinery and, and. So I think I'm gonna skip on that. I'll just yeah, you know, keep my default outfit, considering it's fused to my flesh. That's... How about you hold the gavel? Yeah, I'll just hold it. I don't. Yeah, just hold it. Shroomy will slam okay. it. You'll just hold oh, it. Okay. You like yank it out of my hand, slam it, <laughs> yeah, and then exactly. give it back to me. I'll just yeah. be the holder of the it's hammer. A, <laughs> it's a uh, good judge, bad judge, weird judge routine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he brings down the band hammer, and I just kind of stand there with it. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I'm there for moral support. I, I look menacing. Oh, wait. Good judge, bad judge, monkey judge. That's it. 
Yes, I am a nonsense judge. Yes. <laughs> All right. In front of a no, no nonsense judge, I am a nonsense judge. I get paid in dirt. All right, so that's going to do it for this episode of the Evitech SMP. I hope you did enjoy it. Now, as always, we're going to be opening some chaotic potatoes. I have 14, but we got uh, 11 likes. So, 11 potatoes. Here we go. And we got a wither skull, but that's okay because we have the ass pass, so it's fine. Oh, it's a baby foxo! That is running away. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> uh, it just teleported me all the way over here. I didn't know there was one like that. Okay. I will take a free iron door. Okay, more stuff to make an inner chest. Solid. Sick. <laughs> That was annoying. <laughs> we got a baked potato though. Don't matter. All right. Oh, I just dropped my, <laughs> I just dropped my baked potato instead of the actual chaotic potato. Okay. A. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god, okay. Alright, yeah. Alright. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, slime block? Okay. And it's a little flower. Have no fear, you are great! Wow! What an inspiring flower. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of the Evitech SMP. I hope you did enjoy. I will be back with another episode next week, hopefully at Friday, 3 p.m. EST. So be sure to look out for that. Also be sure to leave a comment with your feedback if you did enjoy. Also, if you liked the video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you want more videos like this. Ring the bell to get notified when I upload. Have an awesome day. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Oh, 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 oh,